guys, I normally don't do videos like this, but I'm kind of wanting to keep up with my Mustang a little bit. Um, the latest video was an exhaust. I recently um, asked to review these um, rapid dry towels. A lot of you may have seen their videos on um, your Facebook or Instagram feeds advertising drying your car in 90 seconds. Now, I tried these once already with, um, and it took two towels, but that was straight out of the package. I'm gonna try it again, this time with, uh, they've been washed once now, so we're gonna see how it goes with them being washed. My car is kinda dirty. Um, it's not too bad, it's more dirty than what I would like, but um, I'll, I'll have my GoPro set up and I'm kinda gonna do probably a time lapse of me washing it and then do like a normal time of me drying it. Um, and then I'll, I'll let you know what I think about them. If they're worth it, it's 30 bucks for one towel. Um, and I, hopefully it's worth it. I, so far from the first impression, I think it is, but, but we'll see. So um, enjoy. A little bit about my washing process for those who might care. I typically try to wash from top down and I do whatever's dirtiest last. So typically it's either the front or the back bumper uh, the front will be done last if there's a ton of bugs. The back will be done last when it's when it's really dirty. This time the back was worse. Um, I also use kind of embarrassingly uh, Johnson and Johnson baby soap. I was told by the guy who installed the 22 PLE ceramic coating that he he suggested using that because it was the least abrasive soap out there. And um, and also when I do wheels I always switch to a completely different rag because uh, those definitely are always the dirtiest and performance pack wheels my goodness they take forever to clean and they're a pain in the butt overall this entire process took about 25 minutes to wash and then about six minutes to dry there's the big rapid dry towel I know in the, earlier I said I would display uh, drying it in uh, normal speed but I don't think you want six minutes of me just drying my car you can see me flipping the towel around looking for, for dry spots. When the towel does tend to get wet, it starts to smear a little bit, and then you have to look for drier spots in the towel to, to get your really wet zones. I'm trying to do the sunny side first to avoid water spots. Watch this hood drying though. Very, very easy, very quick. Look at this. The hood is pretty much done. Love it. I mean, that's, that's what you want when you have a drying towel. Very, very good. Um, and then again, getting the top down, and it's just, the, the only thing that's difficult with the towel being so big is you kind of have to really be careful about not letting the side you're not using hit the ground, because obviously that could pick up dirt and then scratch your car. So you got to be pretty careful with the, the size of the towel. Um, anybody who owns an S550 Mustang will know drying the taillights is a pain in the butt. That's what I'm doing back here right now. But trying to get everything dry. In a second here, I go in and grab what's considered like the touch-up towel. I'm opening up a brand new one, so that's why it takes a second. Here I'm coming out, show you the size of the touch-up towel. And I open up the trunk here because in the S550 Mustang, that this area tends to hold water and then when you drive, um, it comes out the back and then drips down your bumper, making water spots on your bumper after you think everything's dry. Pain in the butt. I'm trying to bust, bust, dust off some lint there. Uh, after washing them, they did seem to, to put lint on my car, which was kind of frustrating, but okay. overall. So, what do I think? I think they did a really good job. I mean, they work way better than anything I was doing before. Where before, I would wash my car, drive it, and try to get it dry that way. And then all the areas that were kind of in the spots that didn't really get much wind would pick up dirt. And it would just it made it so difficult to get my car as clean as I wanted. With these towels... Now I'm very happy with my finished product after just washing the car. So, one towel didn't cut it again. I was hoping after washing it, maybe something would break free, I don't know, and one towel would cut it, but no. And plus, I had a lot of water on my car. I was keeping it very wet to try to avoid from getting hard water spots. So, overall, I think it's an awesome product, um, 90 seconds might be a little bit of a stretch but it depends on the size of your car and obviously too probably how wet it is if it was a shady day um i probably could have tried to dry the car a little bit with my water uh which i do which i have done before because my car is ceramic coated so 
I really, really like this. Drying my car before was always a nightmare. I always hated doing it. It just was the hardest part of washing my car. And I don't want to go through an automatic car wash because those just swirl up your car like crazy. So overall, super happy with the product. I think it's very, very much so well worth its price. You probably will have to buy two. And I also was sent the, did you see that little touch-up towel? I was sent that too. That's really nice for just like, you saw me get those little areas on the windshield. And I really, really um, am happy with how my car looks after washing it and drying it with these towels. The first time I did it, I did get more smears. And this time, I don't really see any. So I do think washing them helped a little bit. Um, but I'm curious to see how these do over time. Some bad news about my car is the other night, I was rear-ended. Got a nice hole here and scuff and another good dent here. So, could have been much worse, but it still sucks. So overall, yeah, super happy with how these towels do. I think my car looks great. And much less time than what I used to always put into trying to get this thing clean and dry. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you want to get some rapid dry towels for yourself, I put a link to their website below. Uh, go check them out. Um, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have an awesome day and hope you found this helpful.